In this video, we will learn about what atoms are and be able to identify the parts of an atom. Similar to how a cake is made with different ingredients, matter is made with different types of atoms. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter that cannot be broken down chemically. They are very small and definitely can't be seen by the naked eye. However, an atom consists of even tinier parts, protons, neutrons, and electron waves. Let's take a closer look at an atom by blowing it up really big, say to the size of a football stadium for now. If I were to drop this pea in the center of the stadium, we would barely be able to see it. In our football stadium sized atom, this pea represents the nucleus. The nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons, while the rest of the space around it, the football stadium, is filled with the electron cloud. The nucleus is tiny, like our pea. For a typical atom, the nucleus will have a diameter of about 10 to the negative 15 meters, whereas the whole atom would have a diameter of about 10 to the negative 10 meters. That means that the diameter of the nucleus is about 100,000 times smaller than that of the atom. Protons are positively charged particles. The number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is what determines the identity of the atom. We can find the number of protons in an atom's nucleus by looking at the atomic number, z. So if there are six protons, z is six, we can look at the atomic number on the periodic table to see that a nucleus should have six protons in a carbon atom. What atom has eight protons in its nucleus? That's right. Looking at the atomic number written above the element symbol on the periodic table, oxygen has eight protons in its nucleus. Neutrons are exactly as they sound. They are neutral particles found in the nucleus. Unlike protons that each have a plus one charge, neutrons are electrically neutral. They have no charge. While the mass of a neutron is very slightly larger than that of a proton, in general, we consider neutrons and protons to have the same mass. Each proton or neutron contributes one atomic mass unit, one U, to the mass of the atom. Atoms of the same element can have a different number of neutrons, which means that they will have different masses. We will touch more on this topic in a later video. Which of the following is true about a carbon atom with six protons and six neutrons? Select all that are true. A carbon atom with six protons and six neutrons will have a total mass of 12 U and the atomic number is six. Finally, electrons. There has been a lot of controversy about the nature of electrons over the last 150 years. We'll leave most of that for another video, but for now, let's just say that electrons and atoms behave as waves that are negatively charged and are found in the parts of the atom outside of the nucleus. The nature of these electron waves and how they explain the chemistry of atoms is a topic for another time. One thing to remember, however, is that electrons are nearly massless, with each electron having a mass of about 0.00055 U. The fact that they are nearly massless is one of the reasons for their weird behavior. Where is most of the mass of an atom? Finally, one important thing to remember is that naturally occurring atoms will be neutral. So how many electrons are there in a neutral nitrogen atom? Remembering that the atomic number is found above the element symbol, we know that nitrogen has seven protons. So the charge of the nucleus is plus seven. Since the atom is neutral, there must be an equal number of electrons, each with a charge of negative one. So there are also seven electrons.